Hello, I'm Dr. Don Schiller, and I'm speaking with you at Olympia Medical Center in Los Angeles, California. For over 20 years, I've been performing a specialized operation known as the Barnett Continent Intestinal Reservoir. This type of internal pouch, self-sealing continent ileostomy evolved out of the original Coke pouch, which was developed in the 1960s. I've been performing this operation for many years, and it is a specialized procedure. People come to me from all over California, all over the United States, and from many countries around the world. The advantage of the Barnett Continent Intestinal Reservoir compared to other options for people who need their colon removed is that it provides you with control over the discharge of your intestinal waste and it avoids the need for any external collecting device or appliance or external pouch. The Barnett pouch operation is for people who need to have their large intestine removed, their colon and rectum, usually because of ulcerative colitis or familial polyposis or other conditions. There are three options for this surgery. One is the conventional brocheliostomy, where you have to always wear an external pouch or collecting bag or appliance uh, to collect the constant flow of intestinal waste and gas. The other option is the ileoanal J pouch, where an internal pouch is made from your small intestine and connected to the lower rectum or anal canal. In this operation, you get to go to the bathroom the normal way, but it's never going to be just once a day, like before you had your colon removed. The usual range is four to seven times a day, and people can wait about 45 minutes to an hour from when they first get an urge, but not much longer. Many people don't have a really successful outcome with the J pouch. They have very frequent bowel movements, they have pain, they have incontinence where waste leaks out when they're not intending it to. And if that's your situation, you have another option other than the conventional ileostomy with the external appliance that you have to wear. And that other option is the Barnett Continent Intestinal Reservoir. Here's a schematic picture of a Barnett pouch. It has a nipple valve, which is self-sealing, and it has a stoma that's just above the pubic hairline, much lower than, than a conventional ileostomy. Only mucus comes out of the stoma, so a little patch is worn over it uh, to keep it dry. But no gas or waste will come out until you choose to go into the bathroom at a time of your convenience and put in a catheter painlessly, empty the waste into the toilet, and then take out the catheter, rinse it out, put your patch back over the stoma, and go about your day. I like to take care of patients in what may be termed the old-fashioned style of medicine, and that is a personal hands-on approach by the surgeon. Uh, my training and my belief in my surgical practice is that the surgeon uh, needs to see the patient every day, if necessary, twice a day. The surgeon uh, needs to take off the bandage and look at the incision and the stoma themselves. That's the way I do it. I don't like to hear from someone else how the incision looked. Uh, I stay in touch with patients after discharge. They'll have a formal follow-up for the first six months where you'll have regularly scheduled office appointments. Now, if you don't live in Los Angeles, obviously these would be telephone appointments, but it's your appointment time. I'm there in the office. I have your chart, just like every other surgical patient. I take notes each time we talk. After six months, when things are going well, we are always available. By we, I mean myself, your surgeon, the surgical team, our nursing coordinator, and we're always available through the toll-free number you see uh, on the video screen now. The Barnett pouch requires a long-term dedication by the surgeon. People need to be followed for the rest of their life. If they have a, the need for another procedure, like a hip replacement, sometimes it's helpful for the Barnett pouch surgeon to communicate with your local doctor about how to manage your pouch during those limited days or hours when you can't put your catheter in yourself. It's very easy to take care of, and communication is key. I like to send a formal report to your local doctor after you've left the hospital, uh, telling them what procedure what was done and uh, how you did during your hospital stay. I appreciate your spending time listening to this presentation. 
The Barnett Continent Intestinal Reservoir gives patients great freedom in their life and the ability to control the evacuation of their digestive waste. It is truly a freedom option.